As predicted last week, we saw a sharp rally in Sterling on Mark Carney's hawkish comments and Theresa May's very important Brexit speech. This week, we've got Simon Marsh talking about our interpretation of that speech. What's been very clear and what's been talked about a lot in Davos over the week in the economic forum is that the rise of populism is dictating markets, perhaps more than central banks have done in the last couple of years. To that basis, we're seeing more fiscal policy coming through or more likely to come through and therefore we're seeing a rally in, in value stocks. That rally has occurred over the last six months but following 10 years of outperformance from growth it's still very early stages in that rally. Within that subsector there are a lot of businesses that are very exposed to China. We're starting to see that Chinese stimulus start to roll over in terms of the money supply data and therefore we're becoming incrementally more cautious on that area of the market. Within value, however, we are seeking out businesses with developed market focus and low price to book valuations, which has been a factor that's performed very poorly over the last 10 years. Looking at the week ahead, we've got a very busy week for earnings. On Tuesday, we've got J&J. &J. On Wednesday, we've got BHP Billiton. On Thursday, we've got Starbucks, Microsoft, Northrop, Alphabet, Amazon, Diageo, Unilever, and on Friday, we've got BT and Whirlpool. Thanks very much. Tuesday's speech by Theresa May has brought some clarity to the UK's negotiating position um, and with it some much needed relief um, from Sterling, although part of this strength I think can be attributed to the fact that at least in some quarters um, the fact that any deal has to be taken back to Parliament um, has raised expectations that Brexit may not mean Brexit. We don't think that's the case. We think Brexit does mean Brexit. However, I think the kind of interesting thing here is that um, whilst markets are going to continue to remain hostage to um, news flow um, surround the negotiations, you shouldn't underestimate the impact of um, Donald Trump's intervention. He's plainly um, significantly more um, apathetic towards Europe um, and NATO and I think that in itself has considerably um, strengthened um, Theresa May's negotiating hand. What does this mean for investors? Well, um, sterling denominated assets, I think, start to look quite interesting. And particularly those marked down UK domestic stocks, um, again, start to look very interesting for investors.